Yeah, well, okay. I mean, if that's what you think, that, that's fine. Hey, everybody. Thanks for joining us here today at Book Blather. If you're new here, I'm Dave. And this is Olive. And we try to have a little fun while we talk about books of all types to help spread the joy of reading. So we recently did a video where we, we had uh, talked about the fact that we had recently passed 1,000 subscribers. And so uh, we were, as part of that celebration, we were doing a, give a giveaway. We also mentioned that we're going to be doing a live stream, or we hadn't committed yet, but we are going to do the live stream soon. So first, if you have any questions for us, you know, you want to leave in advance, you can leave them to the to this video. We'll also do a, you can leave them in the comments of this video. We'll also do a post and you can leave them there, or you can just ask them to us live, of course. We, we're going to have to learn how to do a live stream. We've never done it before. We've only been on other people's live streams. So my natural instinct, I think those have always been like Friday nights. And so my natural instinct is to do it on a, to just do it on a Friday. But if I did it like six o'clock on a Friday, I not, you know, like everybody is all over the place. So with the time zones, you know, for I'm on the East Coast. And if I did six o'clock Friday night, you know, the West Coast of the US, that's still the middle of the work day. And like in the UK, that's like 11 o'clock. I know some people are in the UK, that's like 11 o'clock at night. So. I don't know, it seemed like maybe it should, we should do it on like a Friday at like 5 o'clock. But I don't know if people are busy Friday, uh, I mean, Saturday at like 5 o'clock, but I don't know if people are busy on Saturdays. And so, I don't know, I mean, at the end of the day, it probably doesn't matter. It's probably going to be like two people that show up. But we will take some guidance from you guys, whether which is better, whether we should do it uh, the, uh, like a Friday night or on, on Saturday. And, you know, obviously we can't... Um, do what's best for everybody, but we'll 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 take any comments into account. So, um, but then we had also d did a we um, did a, we're doing a giveaway, and the giveaway was for this. This is an anthology of dark, gloomy stories called the Stygian Collection. And this book, we have a story in this book called the Oarsman. And so this was published in July, and we are in part to celebrate the publication, in part to celebrate that hitting a thousand subscribers. We were doing a giveaway and asked would be interested, and so there are a few people. So we are going to spin the wheel now. And I don't know, I think you can never kind of see these on screen, but we're going to go. You want to hit it? You want to hit it? Yeah? You want to try to? Yeah? You going to hit it? All right, I'll help you. Ready? <laughs> Hopefully you guys can see that. Who is the winner? Susan Burgess. Wow, each time we do a giveaway, it seems like Susan Burgess wins it. Well, <laughs> congratulations, Susan, again. I, I think we already have your address since you won the last one, so uh, we'll get that right off to you. <laughs> Okay, and we also recently won a giveaway. So we, we, we got a nice package, and we just filmed that last night, so we'll go to that now. Hey, everybody. Thanks for joining us here at Book Blather, as usual. I uh, just want to jump on here real quick because we got a package today from our good friend Crystal over at Fiber Artsy, and, you know, we were expecting something from her. We won a little, little sweepstakes that she did, so we knew it was coming, but... When we picked up the box, Olive was like, uh, this seems like it has more than one thing in it. So um, she, she was, you know, I was just going to open the box, but Olive was like, we, sh we should probably open this on camera, you know, like we usually do when we get a package because it sounds like there's more than one thing in there. And as all, you know, I'm like, yeah, as usual, Olive was right. So um, I realized we, we better do this on camera quick. So um, I'm going to just open this real quick, see what, see what we got. Got to be careful here so we don't ruin whatever's in here. Okay. Let's see. And there are several things in here. Okay, let's, I'm not going to look. First, I'm not going to look. First, I'm going to pull out the thing I knew was coming. And... <laughs> Oh, wow. Look at this. So this is what we were expecting. And it's even nicer in the flesh than I thought. So this is Paperbacks from Hell. Look at this beautiful copy. Paperbacks from Hell. So this, if you don't know, 
for a lot of people in that are into reading horror, this has of late become kind of like a Bible for, for, for horror fiction. This is by Grady Hendrix, and this is a book that basically catalogs a lot of, see there's Let's Go Play at the Adams, that catalogs a lot of famous um, uh, horror novels from, I think, pr primarily the 70s and 80s. And you can see it, it shows, you can see right on the cover, it shows like all, a lot of the covers from some of the famous, famous books, it's on the back there too. And uh, this, we've wanted to get this for a while. And then um, <laughs> our friend Crystal came through. So here, look at that. Look at this. Um, maggots, slugs, ants. Look at those. <laughs> so it's just a, a ton of like, it just it just catalogs and, and describes a ton of these, um, you know, old, well-known uh, horror novels from 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 back in the day. So uh, we're like so excited to get into this. Thank thank you, Crystal, so much. We really really spawn. Sean, <laughs> check that out. Oh man, we can't wait to get into this. Oh, this is great. Thank you very much, Crystal. And then if it, Crystal, in her, her usual fashion, has included something else in here. Let me see. Oh, there's a little, a little note. Let's see, I maybe have to read this in private later. Oh, a little Hall happy Halloween card. <laughs> Oh, a couple books we may want to read for a future Garb August. So Garb August was an event, if you don't know, in August that Crystal and I both co-hosted where we read nothing. It was an event started by Criminali where we read nothing but garbage for, for the month of August or what's perceived by society as, as garbage. So she, she had sent, kindly sent me two books for Garb August, A Phantom Lover and... Asriel Rising, I think it was called, <laughs> this year. And so she just included two as possibilities for next year. Um, the ESP Worm by Piers Anthony and Robert E. Margroff. I have never heard of this. We have some Piers Anthony books that I was going to read. We actually picked up Bio of a Space Tyrant that we had thought maybe we would read this past Garb August and didn't get to it. This looks great. Earth's first alien visitor looks like a 12-foot-long cabbage worm, acts like a spoiled brat, and delights in taking over human minds for fun. This looks wonderful and 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 and, and wonderfully, um, wonderfully garb Augusty. And let's see. In the other one here, we have Brother Death, from the best-selling author Steve Perry. <laughs> And this looks like it's a science fiction novel of terror strides across the galaxy. The elite who command the wealth of an entire planet each is given a warning of impeding of impending assassination. Each is surrounded by bodyguards, but in every case, the death stroke falls on time. Brother Death. Beyond the dimension of man lies the brutal realm of Brother Death. <laughs> also looks wonderfully trashy. So Thank you. Thank you very much, Crystal. We appreciate these. <laughs> oh, what a nice package from Crystal. Paperbacks from Hell, The ESP Worm, and Brother Death. So, excellent, excellent, excellent. So, looking forward to getting into those. Thank you so much, Crystal. So, as always, thanks for joining us, guys. That's it for today. Again, remember, if uh, let us know what you think about the live stream, when would be good, and if you have any questions, leave them for us. Thanks so much for watching. Take care of yourselves and each other. And we'll see you next time.